Does anybody really, truly, 100% follow their religion? Are there any religions that can allow you to be yourself, but also follow all of the rules, guidelines, commandments, precepts, whatever that your religion may have? Um, I've gotten a lot of comments from people uh, pertaining to my smoking and the fact that Wiccans believe in not harming yourself or others and that that is a direct contradiction to my religious beliefs. Now, in response to that, I thought that I would post a video about basically um, the fact that if you are a religious person, if you have, if you believe in a specific religion, there are very, very few people in this world that follow every single belief to the T and that can say that they are 100% Christian or 100% Jewish or what have you. I believe that um, the one thing that all of the religions have in common is flaws and the ability to see that people have flaws. Though there are people out there that are very religious, that doesn't necessarily mean that they are going to follow everything ad verbatim and that there are going to be some screw-ups, <laughs> there are gonna be some flaws, and a lot of things is a question of semantics. First thing is Christianity. Here are a couple of examples of um, things that Christians believe in that not all Christians follow. Commandment number three states, remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. Yet not all Christians go to church and some even work on Sundays. So that is a direct violation of the third commandment. Commandment number six, you shall not commit adultery. Now, I'm not saying that all Christians cheat, but there are some that do. So... Again, direct violation of commandment number six. There is also Lent, in which, um, from Wikipedia, the purpose of Lent is the preparation of the believer through prayer, penance, or penitence, almsgiving, and self-denial for the annual commemoration during Holy Week of the death and resurrection of Jesus, which recalls the events linked to the Passion of Christ and culminates in Easter, the celebration of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Now, most Christians choose to give something up for Lent that is very trivial, very, um, you know, meh, kind of like um, chocolate or alcohol, um, something that is not an extreme sacrifice, yet Lent is to, I mean, it's it started with Jesus, you know, there, there are many derivatives derivations of where Lent comes from and the belief of it, but the most common being Jesus spending the 40 days and 40 nights in the desert and being tempted by Satan three times and being able to overcome his temptations. And that is one of the main reasons of Lent. And do you see every Christian giving up something for Lent? I don't. Now on to Judaism. Uh, Saturday is their Holy Sabbath and their day of worship and rest. Yet, there are some that don't worship, and there are some that work on Saturdays. Um, women, uh, to, in the strictest sense of Judaism, women are not supposed to wear pants, and nor are they allowed to wear shirts that have sleeves that are shorter than elbow length. Um, and they are absolutely, well, not just women, but um, you know, strict Jews in general, are absolutely not allowed to work on Saturdays. Um, you are not to eat pork, nor are you to have anything that is not kosher, and not just foods. Did you know there are even kosher cleaning products? Buddhist precepts. These actually, some of them kind of, I thought was were a little interesting. Um, there's to refrain from taking life, um, to refrain from taking that which is not given, to refrain from sensual misconduct, um, to refrain from lying, to refrain from intoxicants, which lead to loss of mindfulness. And now these, these I thought were very, very interesting. These are for, I guess, the more Orthodox Buddhists. Um, to refrain from eating at the wrong time, 
um, to refrain from dancing, using jewelry, or going to shows. And last but not least, to refrain from using a high, luxurious bed. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Now, I don't know many Buddhists, but I could probably tell you there are probably some Buddhists that may have a real nice Tempur-Pedic that sits up kind of high. Or maybe they have a wedding ring. Well, no, I guess if you're Buddhist and you're not supposed to wear jewelry, maybe they have something that, you know, is in lieu of a wedding ring. But maybe they have a nice necklace from their grandmother. I don't know. Islam. The Quran defines hadud as the punishments for five specific crimes. Those crimes being unlawful intercourse, which most Orthodox Muslims believe that... Um, a black person should not lie with a white person. Um, false accusation of unlawful intercourse, consumption of alcohol, theft, and highway robbery. Now, they also believe um, to greet others with assalamu alaikum, which is peace be on to you, and saying um, bismillah, which is in the name of God, before meals, and using only the right hand for eating and drinking. Muslims, like Jews, are restricted in their diet and prohibit foods including pig products, blood, carrion, and alcohol. Also, during the month of Ramadan, Muslims must not eat or drink from dawn till dusk. Now, again, I don't know that many Muslims, um, but... I'm sure that there are some that have probably, you know, picked up their glass of water with their left hand or not said bismillah before eating. Um, maybe not even said assalamu alaikum to, um, to greet somebody. So basically what I'm trying to get across is there are a lot of rules and regulations put in place in every religion and it depends on how you take it. It depends on how orthodox you are. And it, it, it really has to do with what you see and how you interpret each of these rules, rights, regulations, and principles. To me, smoking is bad. I know that. But I'm, that's more of a literal thing. Um, you know, I mean, I was also a cutter. That self-harm and that goes against one of the beliefs of my religion but there are a lot of things that you do on a regular basis that harm yourself and harm others that it's really if you want to get technical and down and dirty we shouldn't be driving cars it harms the environment I should not never go rollerblading again because I fractured my tailbone last time I did um, you know you really shouldn't use a cell phone it could cause brain cancer it's how how detailed do you really want it to be? How much of a question of, you know, how literal you want to take it do you really want to get down to? I mean, it's, it's trivial things that cause questions in people about religion. When the religion itself should be about faith and worship and belief. Nobody's perfect. Everybody has flaws. And to attack me for smoking um, would be like me attacking a Christian for lying to their parents about getting home too late when it clearly states you're not to lie. Um, you know, it'd be like attacking my godfather for eating bacon and eggs the other night because he's Jewish and he's not supposed to eat pork. So, in conclusion, religion is a very... Um, broad thing. There are a lot of laws, there are a lot of principles, and there's a lot of things that go into each and every religion. But the most important thing is faith. That is the most important thing. And if you have that, and if you have faith in your belief for the religion, and you have the worship and the dedication to the religion, that's really all that matters. <laughs>